Previously, what we've done is in our game, we have made, um, let me just hit play here, uh, the start game button. And as I play tic-tac-toe, I can. it tells me if it's player X's turn or player O's turn. Now player O gets to move and I'll purposely lose. And uh, it says game over, X is a winner. So, so far, um, what this is, is we need to run the program and make sure that either player can win the game from every position. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to play our game and debug and test to make sure it's working. In fact, I found one slight mistake that I made uh, in doing this. I noticed that sometimes when I play with my daughters, we'll do this. If I win first and they've got two in a row and they'll go and they'll keep playing. Um, but the game is already over. Player X is the winner. Um, but here it's saying player O as well because player O won. So what I need to do, one of the last things I need to do here is I need to make it so that once we've determined a winner, all the buttons are disabled. And that's actually gonna be fairly easy to fix. The other thing I noticed, uh, if you f used my codes in the check win um, part, I actually said button one, it always said button one here, which was wrong. Obviously it's, I need to choose uh, button the button that is one of the ones that we're checking for a win. Um, Cause I just copied and pasted the code here, right? So this one here, let me just stretch it out. You can see, uh, and I could take some time and go through this. This here, it's button four is five and four is also equal to uh, button six. So it's not one, two, and three. I Because I copied and pasted, I copy and pasted the comment. This one would be four, five, and six. And what I also had to change here is I said button one because I'd copied and pasted uh, this where it should really be button four or it could be five or six um, in this case. So uh, I've done that for the check win, but the last thing, if there is a win, not only do I need to uh, display the winner, but I also need to um, uh, make the game over uh, and disable the button. And one way I could uh, uh, do that is I could um, create a subroutine um, that's going to display the winning message and also the subroutine would disable the um, uh, buttons. And because I've got a subroutine already to disable the buttons, um, what I might do here is when the game has won, so in this case here, game over, uh, I might disable the buttons because the uh, game's over. And I might uh, just do that for each of the times. After the line of game over, I'll disable buttons, okay? Uh, and that may be easier than creating a separate subroutine uh, for this. It's a small program, so it's really not all that important. And ideally, I should also go and re-comment all this because I cut and paste. Um, I need to say, well, this is button seven, eight, and nine um, that I'm checking, and, and then I disable the buttons, and this one here is one, four, and seven. And then after the game over, I need to disable the button. So I should go, could go through and do that. Um, like I said, if I had a subroutine that I was calling after each one of these, it'd be a lot easier. I'd just do it once. Uh, but I hadn't set it up that way. So, um, and it's really not that much work to go through and uh, do this. Uh, one of the last things is a tie game. I should probably have a routine here to check for a tie game. And so I should have some sort of if statement, if um, the number of moves equals tie game, um, then I should also uh, do something in that as well. 
um, then I should display a time uh, tie game message. And uh, to do that, um, there's some, a whole slew of different ways that I, I could go about uh, uh, doing that. Um, and, you know, you can look at, at how you're going to do that. I won't give you that answer right here, um, but it's, it's really not too, too hard. Basically, if, if you don't have a win and you've reached the number of moves, uh, we could do a tie game. And so a whole slew of ways uh, to do that. Um, so, you know, one, one way I could, uh, anytime I disable the buttons, I could also make a variable uh, here in the check win called uh, game over as Boolean. And we'll set it to false. And then if there is a win, I disable the buttons, game over, and I say game over is true. And I would need to do that anytime I decided the game was over. And so again, there's gonna be, I think eight of these I need to put in. And then finally, the last thing I need to do is Um, if the number of moves is a tie game and game over, then display the tie game message. And so I should do that. So um, let's let's look at doing that, I guess. I guess I'll give you the answer here. So uh, create a variable called uh, number of moves. We'll make it an integer, and whenever I start the game, uh, I've got a start game button. When I start the game, number of moves is zero, uh, zero. and then in each button. go to each button so here's button one and anytime I click on a button number of moves is going to increment by one so when I press button one I made a move or if I press button two um, and it doesn't matter who's who's having a turn or not but basically I just increment the number of moves And then finally in the check win at the end, um, a tie game would be nine moves, wouldn't it? So maybe I'll make a constant here in the general declaration called tie game as integer equals nine. So tie game is a constant, it's nine moves. And so now in my if statement, I can write it uh, fairly easy. I can say if number of moves equals a tie game, which is nine, and game over, then, and isn't that very similar to, um, to the English comment I made above, then uh, we're going to message box tie game. So I don't want to message box if um, oh sorry
Uh, whoops, I made a mistake. It should be not game over. Because game over happens when there was a win. Maybe I'll I should change this variable. Whoops. Let me change the variable to game over. So I'll call it uh, player win as boolean. So let me fix that. Uh, quick replace. I want to find what I had called uh, game over. And I'm going to change that with player win. I'll replace that one. I'll replace that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Great. And so, so if the number of moves is a tie game and player didn't win. So if the player didn't win and it's a tie game, uh, then, or sorry, if the number of moves is a tie game and it's not a player win, then we're going to message box a tie game and we're going to disable all the buttons. And I think now I have completely finished the game. Um, so, oh, the, yeah. So let's just hit play and I'll play my game. So now I'll do that same game scenario. So imagine I was playing and I got three in a row. It says game over, X is a winner. And when I press okay here, I can't play anymore. So if I was playing against my daughters, they couldn't go and say, oh, I got an O here as well. And I won too, uh, because it's the first person that gets uh, three in a row. Um, and now I would just test that everything is, is working and test all the possible moves. And then I would probably even test, uh, can we make O win? And certainly O wins as well. So it looks perfect and I think we're done.